Uh, what's up mga kalagstock? Andito ulit tayo sa day 7 sa ating 20 days challenge at sa uh, ngayon I personally want to tackle this topic kasi isa to sa mga confusing <laughs> when to use and what to use isang mga experience sa mga kalagstock natin dyan especially yung mga field technician ay yung paggamit ng calcium So, may dalawa kasi tayong calcium na available, yung DCM at saka yung CBG. So, let's just break down the components of each, uh, each class na, or each drug. Makikita natin sa indications ng CBG na it is, it is designed for milk fever or conditions associated with hypocalcemia and other conditions na yung blood calciums are mababa or may imbalance. Ito yung gusto ko sa CBG kasi it raises the calcium level in the blood instantly. No? So, mag-ingat lang tayo sa paggamit nito kasi if we administer it in a high concentration and a fast rate, it can cause heart blockage at saka mag-cardiac arrest matay yung hayop natin. No? Yung CBG directly replates the serum calcium levels no? sa katawan. So kung kumbaga, in considering kung armas natin to, yung CBJ ay a type of sniper. <laughs> no, yung specific talaga siya for conditions na nag indicate ng calcium imbalance. No? So, hypocalcemia, yung pregnant cows, yun yun, isa yun, or milk fever. No? Isa pang gusto ko sa CBJ ay it contains more calcium units than DCM. No? Kasi purely calcium lang yung content ng CBG so in terms of, of milk fever and hypocalcemia and other calcium related na mga imbalances pinipili ko yung CBG kasi mas marami siyang calcium units kumpara sa DCM in cases which warrants immediate calcium effect or calcium treatment, maganda yung CBG. Uh, ano naman yung sa DCM? Yung sa DCM, it also treats yung mga milk fever, saka hypocalcemia but the unique features of the DCM is that it has dextrose. No? It contains energy source which is good for conditions na debilitated na yung hayop. No? Maganda rin yung DCM as a supportive treatment in nervous diseases no? at saka yung, ito yung unique sa DCM kasi may content siya ng magnesium it supports the muscle and the nerve function and it's also a source of energy no, so yung key point natin dito mga ka-livestock ay pag ang nagmanifest ay low magnesium hindi natin siya matreat gamit yung CBG kasi walang content na magnesium yung CBG So, ito yung, ito yung demarcation line natin, when to use and what to use pag ganito na mga sitwasyon. So, in terms of grass tetany or grass taggers or hypomagnesemia, we don't use CBG, we use DCM because of the content of the magnesium. So, doc, paano natin masasabi na ito yung dapat kong gamitin, DCM or CBG? Ang advice ko ay know your disease or know your case. Pag pregnant na hayop at saka nagmanifest ng hypocalcemia, i-consider mo na yan na CBG yung gagamitin mo kasi related siya sa pregnancy na milk fever. And if ever yung case na hinarap mo ay hindi siya pregnant at saka hindi siya female. <laughs> so, mostly you're facing the case na grass tetany. So, If ever na put ka sa situation na you're facing a milk fever, I highly suggest that you use CBG. But if you are facing a case of downer, downer cow syndrome, and it has, it's a male or not pregnant, then I highly suggest that you use DCM. Kasi DCM, yung, as we mentioned earlier, it has dextrose for energy source, and it is excellent for debilitated states. At saka yung another is yung DCM is that it, it is a very good supportive treatment in nervous diseases. 
no? So, lameness. Pwede yan. Maganda yan. Mm. All in all, yung DCM natin, para sa shotgun. But in terms of calcium content, mas favorable yung CBG. Mas marami siyang calcium. When to use, on what to use, it depends on the case that you are having. No? So, the key point is determine what is your case. If you are facing a case na pregnant, malnourished, at saka hypocalcemic, no? so you put in your mind that you are facing a milk fever. No? So, better use CBG. If you, are, if you are facing a case na hindi siya pregnant, and most likely, i-consider natin yung na grass tetany or grass taggers. So, when to use CBG, our key determining factor is that it is related with pregnancy. So, if it's not related with pregnancy, such as ephemeral fever, downer cow syndrome, then that's the point that we use DCM. As we mentioned earlier, yung dextrose at saka yung magnesium, it will play a part, it will play a major part part in dealing those type of conditions. No? So, yan yun. Na-determine na natin when to use and what to use. No? So, as a rule of thumb in my practice, when I'm facing a pregnant cow, my drug of choice is CBG. No? And if it's not related with pregnancy, if it is ephemeral fever related, if it is grass taggers related or grass tetany related, based on the history, then I will use DCM. So, that's it. That answers our question and when to use and what to use. So I hope yung mga kalibsnack natin dyan may nakuha kayo na idea or inputs. And I'm not saying that this is the absolute truth. No? I'm just saying based on my experience. We do what it is effective on our situation. No? And in my experience, CBG is very effective in pregnant cows. And DCM is in non-pregnant cases of hypocalcemia. So, thank you for your support. <laughs> no? So, thank you for your continued support and for being with me for day 7. No? So, hopefully, we can see each other on day 8. And shout out to my son. I love you, my son, and my wife. And as always, glory to God.